Okay, perfect. So we'll grab just that part, um, paste that in, and then select your own category. Um, another purchase in the name. Perfect. And then um, country club purchase. Perfect. Okay. Create. And then go ahead and um, set that up. Create. And then go to web configuration. Or you want to do all of them first and then do that? Uh, yeah, I guess we could do them all first. And then... What you'll want to do also okay. is... Um, What's very, very important, you may have to open up the, the pages again, but um, once you go to, yeah, once you create it, so here's what's a good habit to get in, into. Um, once you set it up like this and you create it, it's inactive. What you want to do before you close out that page, because we've been Xing out these thank you pages to, you know, obviously to keep everything clean, but before you do that, refresh the page. So I'll show you right now. Okay. So go ahead and go ahead and name the, name the conversion real quick. Okay, so we just created it. It's um, it's now inactive. Now go to the thank you page, refresh it, and then make it that way we make it active. Because if you close this out right away, you'd have to go back to it. So we refreshed it. So now if you go back to the events, refresh this one. You want to make it active before we go to the web configuration. So now that now it's active, so just do the same thing with the actually, yeah, you could just copy it there. Perfect. And then you can always check that pixel helper as well. It should say that custom conversion right there in the pixel helper. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, okay so they're all active, perfect. So yeah, just double check the pixel helper real quick. Hit that pixel helper on any of them. Oh, uh, I gotta create this one first. Perfect. So yes, yeah, so these are custom conversions, man. This is, you got this part down. So um, yeah, hit done and then just open up that thank you page or refresh it. Yeah, and then, bam, there it is there, newsletter sign up. Okay, right, cool, yeah. so just um, refresh the Facebook site to the events manager site. Okay, perfect, so. One more to go and then we're done. Perfect. Okay, so that's a purchase. Perfect. Okay, create. Okay, cool. So now, now, um, yeah, refresh this one, make that one active, and then now let's just set up the web configuration. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now refresh. Yeah, perfect. So now. We'll just hit the dots to the left, and then we're going to now line up all these. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I just want to make sure. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure I do this. I didn't screw this up. This is for the webinar registration. Yeah, okay. How do I, can I change, oh, rename it? Uh... Perfect. Okay, cool. So what do we got? Five of them? Three, six of them? Six of them? Okay, cool. Six. So then um, 
Yep, so right here, so web configuration. You may have to refresh this page, but then again, you may not have to, let's just check. Actually, no, you should be fine. So yeah, so manage events, they should all be there. Edit, add event. Perfect, they're all right there, awesome. So um, again, just stack them all in and then just line them up according to, you know, most highest priority. All right, so this is, this is them. Um, this one should be the last one. Webinar registration. So I'm assuming the purchase one should be higher than. Yeah. Than just yeah. webinar registration. Um, so then. But see, you know what? That's a that's a good question, and that's like a good concern to 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 think about. Um, ultimately, what it comes down to, and I learned this from from one of my coaches. When it comes down to it what you're really optimizing for when you're running conversion ads, what you're really trying to shoot for is the registration. You're not necessarily shooting for the purchase. Um, so, and that's, that's super, super important to know. So in a funnel, I have my landing page, I have, which is my opt-in page. They opt in, they watch the rep, the webinar. When they're on that second page, which is where the webinar is, that's a registration, right? But then when they, when they purchase, then they end up going, they end up clicking, going to a credit card page, entering their credit card. If they leave that page, that's an add to cart, right? That's the, that, that page should be set up as an add to cart custom audience, that, that sales page. But if they don't check out and then they never land on the purchase, or even if they do check out and they land on the thank you for purchasing page, that page is set up as a custom conversion, but that's not really a custom conversion that you'll be running ads to you'll be running custom conversions to the webinar registration. It's all about getting people to register. That's what it's all about. Now, yeah. ultimately your ultimate goal is obviously to get people to purchase, of course, but on the ad side, it's to run ads to get people to register. Okay. So, so the registration may be highest priority. Does that make sense? So that's what you're shooting for at all times is to run ads to that opt-in page to get people to register. That's the ultimate goal. Because if I can get them to register and I can get that webinar to resonate, then they purchase. But, but one has to happen before the other. I need, I need registrations. Okay. Okay. So that, right. that, that's your highest priority. That's what you're shooting for. So that's custom conversions and that's setting up your um, web event configurations. And that's the new Apple iOS change that we you know, had to do. So, um, so everything's good there, man. And then now let's go straight into, into the conversions ad.